Hey guys, Mary Jam, April 25th at 3.17, so I did make the plant-based oyster sauce, which is here, and it's really good, and I started cooking the tofu, and then I was about to get ready, I put my makeup on, but you can all know, <laughs> because I was, there's no way I'm going out, um, I really wanted to go to the museum today, but I just feel so sick right now, to the point where I'm pretty much going to pass out, and I'm not even going to bother eating. I'm just going to take an hour nap and then head downtown when I wake up in like probably a half uh, half hour after I wake up and then just go downtown. Sunrise will probably be closed so I'll just go to uh, Metro or I might even just go to No Frills on the way home. I don't really know yet but I've been up since 7 a.m. and I kept thinking Oh yeah, I could do so much today. And now all of a sudden I could barely keep my eyes open. So it's like, yeah, and I'm losing my balance. So to go out right now is not a good thing. Um, I did clean up quite a bit though. I made rice as well. And I had my chicken noodle soup anyways, the leftovers of it. So I just soaked all my pans. I did two rows of dishes, I guess. One, two, but yeah, like I was saying, I've been up since 7 a.m. and I didn't even have to be awake. <coughs> <coughs> and I'm still kind of coughing a bit. So I'm just like, I'll just wait till next week. Next week, hopefully I'll feel a little better. I really, really, really want to go to the Hogcast Museum, but I don't want to go there when I feel like crap. That's the thing, and I never know when I'm going to feel good and not. So like I said, I should have went out as soon as I woke up, but I don't want to go out at 9 a.m. Because <laughs> it's so early and nothing's open yet, so... I mean, even if I spent like an hour there, by the time I get down there, it would be like... 11 o'clock downtown, and then like nothing's really open. I I could have went to Metro first, but I wasn't done my collages yet, so... And I'm really... I'm not sure if I'll go... I don't think I'll go to Metro Town to print them off. I just... So I want to save money, and I don't want to spend too much money, so... I think they're good enough for... It being on the computer on my phone for now. Um... But yeah, I'm just feeling like... Like crap, literally. Um, I didn't even go out for a smoke either because I'm just, that's how crappy I am. But I did cook the tofu, <laughs> so that's the main thing. So this is the sauce. Yeah, so I cooked the tofu and I, I'm kind of hungry, but at the same time, my stomach's just it's not doing great, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to bed <laughs> and go get smokes later. If I keep staying as long as I get downtown before nine o'clock, it's fine. Like usually, I could meet up with them um, if I get there later, but I don't really like doing that because I also have to get up early tomorrow to go pay rent early since I didn't do that today. So, I don't want to push myself to go out either right now because I feel so lightheaded and can't keep my balance. So it's like, not sweet. I stopped cooking and then I was like putting on my makeup and I'm like yeah not gonna happen today. <laughs> yeah I can't even keep my eyes open right now. It's pretty bad. It's only 3 30 so I'm hoping to get up like around 5 and then head out but like I said sunrise closes at 6 so tomorrow I might just go to No Frills after I pay rent. 
I just hate going back downtown day after day, but I'm almost out of smokes. I have like one pack left, so I'll have to go out tonight to get it. So hopefully like around five or six. I'm not even going to do a video when I wake up, because when I do videos, it takes a while to record it, then I gotta wait for it to upload when I have Wi-Fi. And then I gotta head out, so it's like, yeah, I gotta, as soon as I get up, I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee and head out, and get dressed and head out. <laughs> and I'll have, have like three smokes first, and then, so yeah, but I'm just so tired, so exhausted. I, and I really wanted the plant-based tofu steak, and I had the mushrooms, and... The tofu, uh, the onions cut up, but, and then my eggplant went bad, so I have to get more eggplant now. This is why I have to stay on top of cooking, so I already cut up the pepper and the onions so I can make the hoisin chips whenever I'm back or tomorrow. But at least it's cut up, so then that way my vegetables don't go bad. Two eggplants went bad because I've been so busy and so tired. <laughs> so this is what literally my world is like. But I will tell you my cookies are really good. I've been on uh, eating these <laughs> at least. I actually only had two today because so, I'm hungry but I'm not that hungry. But I think that's for my stomach. <laughs> and I could have had I could have taken a shower but right now I'm just so tired I can't really st stay up even like even with the uh, coffee oops I messed up my mic here <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty, I'm gonna go straight to bed. And I'll set the alarm for like five, and then hopefully head out by six. I can't believe I put my makeup on just to take it off. <laughs> that's like that's why I hate wearing makeup because I get tired so quickly. And I know if I don't go to sleep right now, I'm going to pass out when I'm out. And that's not good. So, you got to think about safety first. But I've been up since 7 a.m. <laughs> 7 a.m. So, that's when I'm tired. So. Oh, well. The hog pass will have to wait. Maybe Monday, because... This weekend, it's not busy. Last weekend, I had a busy weekend. But this weekend, I'm pretty much home. Except for... Uh, Sunday, I might hang out with the kids for a bit, but not too long. For doing laundry, we'll see. They're the only people that really come visit. Are the kids. Chris and... Chris and the kids... <laughs> but yeah. So, if you ever feel that way, like you really want to go out, and you know you just can't <laughs> stay awake, don't feel bad. 
Like I said, the Holocaust Museum is always going to be there. And I think on Monday, if I go, then I want to go um, early so I don't have to worry about getting tired. I sh like I said, I should have went at 9. But it's like my kitchen's a mess and I hate having dirty dishes and no food. That's why I started cooking soon after I did the pizzap. I just got a stupid phone call from likely spam. So annoying. Oh, I think I told you guys this before. That's funny because last time I saw my landlord, she's like, I keep getting these text messages about parking in the car or something like that and that I owe money or something. And I was like, yeah, I got that text message too. <laughs> And I don't have a driver's license, and I don't have a car, so... But they're trying to say, oh, if I don't pay this, and they're going to take me to court. So, and uh, be careful. If you don't know the number, don't answer it. Or the other thing, too, that happened... This was when I was working at uh, Savon. I was working, like, so many hours, and it was during, when I had that car accident. So I wasn't thinking in my head, and then all of a sudden I got this phone call saying it's from the RCMP, and if I don't give them a call, they're going to come after me or whatever. So I was like, because I owe money or whatever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, but they didn't like really say anything. And then when I called, there was some kind of, some person trying to say that they're the RCMP, but they didn't know my info. So I'm like, well, if you're the RCMP, you should know my info. <laughs> you should know my address. You should know how old I am. So it's like, obviously, it's a scam. But the way that they were trying to make it sound like, oh, you're going to go to jail if you don't give us your info and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, and if you're the RCMP, you should already know my info. So... <laughs> Because I do my taxes, so the government has all that info, so it's, it's so dumb. And there's this other spam that is really bad for seniors because uh, my dad answered the phone. My dad's very lonely because he doesn't have a lot of people in his life. So he kept talking to them and then all of a sudden... He ended up with a $500 phone bill because it was spam. So they're just like listening to what you have to say, but it really isn't the person. I can't remember what it was, but he was like, yeah, they told me to talk if I needed somebody to talk to. So I talked to them and then talked to them for like an hour. And then my bill came at the end of the month. And then all of a sudden I owed 500 bucks. But... He didn't have call display, so that's why he didn't know. And then, like I said, my dad's lonely, so. Which is why I feel really bad sometimes, because I'm pretty much all he has right now. Other than, like, a few friends, but. I could barely get out of the house right now. <laughs> I think I know, so it's like. Ugh. I can't uh, go all the way to my dad's place just to hang out with him when I could barely stay awake sometimes. And I gotta look after myself. It's like literally my whole day. I've been up since 7 a.m. and all I've been doing is the Pazat photos, the collages, which you guys saw. And then doing the prepping and the dishes and the cooking. And I couldn't even finish that because I'm like, I don't want to burn the place down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. I was like, it's already 3 o'clock, so by the time I get ready, I'll be 3.30. I should have enough time to get there. But then, now I just feel so lightheaded, so it's like, no. I gotta go to bed. I think it's because I've been up since 7. <laughs> I have been eating milk. Like I said, I have a vegan chicken noodle soup. And I had two cookies. I had my grapefruit this morning. So, yeah, it just sucks having conditions where you're so tired all the time.
sometimes. That's why people are like, that's why I keep saying I don't watch TV except for what I watch on YouTube. So, I don't know, I'm looking at my ca the camera right now too, and my cheeks are kind of red. It feels like... Hmm. So, but for sure I'm going to go out tonight to go, at least go get smokes. And then, I don't know, I might go to Metro Town after I get smokes, because I have been craving Guylon again. And I'm out. <laughs> and I'm like, I know I could get it at Metro Town cheap, and then I could print up photos. But we'll see how I feel later. Or I might just do that tomorrow, because Walmart's, yeah, Walmart's pretty far. So I'm thinking I'm just going to uh, get smokes, and then from there <clears throat> go uh, up to um, I might even go up to Fraser if it's uh, not too late because I do need to go to Dollarama. I still don't know if that Dollar Tree is there on Fraser. <laughs> On Google it says it is, but it says that all the Dollar Trees are back here or here, and one on Broadway is not there. But there's one in Burnaby. So, yeah, I'm just so, so wiped out. I can't even hold myself up. <laughs> That's how tired I am. So I'll probably, like, I might even get up to at 6, and then... Just uh, go for my last two smokes and then have my coffee, get dressed, and then head out because then, I, then I'll be on my last bat. So that's not gonna last. So, so much to the Hogcast Museum today. I really wanted to go, but I'm like, I can't even, can't even get out. <laughs> So I'll probably do a short after this too, because I was, I was I was trying to do a short, but then all of a sudden one minute went by, so I was like, dang it, especially the web shorts. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and then get up and around six, five or six, and then head out because I need to get smokes. I'm just so tired, so. Talk to you guys later here on Phantom Series. No Holocaust Museum today.